Okay, thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'll try to be quick. Um, yeah, I'm Geoffrey Van Case from Ogilvy. I'm creative director. And uh, last year I was here in the same stage talking, and I ended my presentation with this uh, sentence, Futures in Your Hands, because I was presenting like five main um, uh, issues or five main topics that at Ogilvy we find interesting to uh, seek for when we seek for talent. That's, um, that's my goal. My goal of the presentation is show you how we think and uh, what are we looking for when looking for young talent like you are. So let me just say thank you for your presentations and your ideas. They are so cool, inspiring and everything. And uh, I mean, we, all t we always like to, to, to see how, how you're doing. Um, five topics quickly were like divine this content, which is about um, always give something else uh, beyond the main brief. Uh, we always talk about pervasive creativity. We think that creativity can come from any department, not only creative. Uh, we'll show you an example later. Eternal craft, which is basically what you're doing, like crafting a little, super a lot, super a lot, quite, in, uh, quite a lot what you're doing, the photography, uh, the design, the illustration, uh, all the details are super important. Also adaptive connectation, which means that people that work with us should be able to adapt or work with any kind of people. I mean, we are a large company, and as a large company, we have to be able to um, talk, to discuss, to work, to create, to fight with several other types of, of people, and that's really, really, really important. And also, uh, curiosity. I mean, you have to be curious if you want to be creative, and it doesn't matter if you are in accounting or UX or whatever. But this year, and according to the festival theme, which is sustainability and people from Ideas for Tomorrow, People for Tomorrow, um, I'd like to present you this next hand, which is Conscious Evolution. It talks about the importance of um, guiding our ideas or our thought, our way of thinking towards a sustainable world, sustainable ideas, ideas that can create a real impact into people, into society, or even the planet. Um, and that's really cool and really important. And that idea that has, it's been uh, treated all around the globe um, in our company comes from a group of people in the agency. They were uh, UX designers um, that they decided to go plastic free in the agency. They said, in our lives, we're going to go plastic free. They convinced the agency to go plastic free. And now, as an agency, we're convincing all our clients to go plastic free. Then this impact is going to is going to be on their customers. So companies that we work for, they're trying to go plastic free or um, taking some actions in terms of environment and sustainability that are really cool. So from an idea that came uh, from a girl, like she's in the stage, she's Laura Goivas. Hola, Laura. <laughs> it was her idea with other group of people to go like that. And that's the kind of people that we want to, to, to work with, people that uh, she comes from UX, for example, but a simple idea made something really, really impactful and really cool. So um, that attitude, that attitude goes beyond skills. And that's what we say some, sometimes. We say, like, we hire for attitude and train for skill. We don't really care when we're looking for people how good you are at something, but we really care about how you are, your personality, your way of thinking, your way of the other things I told before. So I think that's the most important part when you're looking uh, for a job in an agency or in a studio or whatever. At Ogilvy, we think that, we think that way. We think that attitude is mm, 99%. Um, why is that? Because, and yeah, you said, uh, HP said at the beginning, we're going to talk about our founders. Yeah, I'm going to talk about my founder. It doesn't matter. So Ogilvy used to say that. You used to say that if you hire people like, smaller than you are, you're going to get this company of dwarfs. If you hire people like bigger than you are, you're going to get a company of giants, which I think is really, I mean, it makes really sense. Um, back then, people used to hire people, um, they were afraid, you know, that feeling of being afraid that you're hiring somebody that's going to be better than you? I mean, we, we go towards that. So basically, this is my height. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> almost two meters. But my goal here today was like feeling or making you or letting you inspire us and make me feel really, really small. So that's your turn. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey.